the event store is going in for service. Um, so there's a flatbed picking it up. We lost our mailbox key for like a month. So we finally found it today. And I believe I'll, I'll let Max come over here and, and tell you what he got me. These are the, let me show you again. Thickest performance shorts ever. I mean, second to athlete. These are the second sickest shorts. Third to Lulu, but all right. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? So if you watched my last video, uh, you know I'm buying a new car today. So step one to buying a new car is uh, go to the bank and get yourself a shitload of cash. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run in real quick. So obviously a shitload of cash is uh, a relative term, but basically when I'm buying a car, I always wanna put at least 10% of the car down up front, um, plus cover your taxes, TTL, anything like that. When you buy a car, you know where you're at financially. You know if you can afford it or not. So put a bunch of money down and you're good. What you don't wanna happen is six months down the line, you bought that Corvette, you didn't put anything down, you financed it all, because hey, the monthly payment wasn't too bad. And uh, now you're financially in trouble, you need to get out of it, you take it to trade it in, and you find out you gotta write a $20,000 check just to get out of it, and you don't even have the 20 grand to begin with. So if you can buy a car, make sure you can buy it up front. Don't try to buy it when you sell it. That doesn't doesn't work out. I'm on the wrong side of the car, oh, shit. All right, so let's head over to uh, to the dealership. Okay, after driving and uh, filming for like five minutes, I realized, one, I'm not trading this truck in, I'm trading my car in, so I need to go back to my house and get my car. Two, the, the lens was in manual focus and I thought it was an auto, so the whole beginning of this video is probably out of focus. I may have gotten lucky, but I think it was out of focus. So, off to a great start today. So just got to the dealership. I'm gonna make one final video live from the GT3, which is actually the video, if you watched yesterday, um, of me explaining that I'm selling the car, which I'm really curious to see what a lot of you guys say about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and there we go. So right now, right about now, you guys are figuring out that I'm selling this car. A little bitter about it, but at the end of the day, it's a car. I'm gonna be in another one very, very shortly, something even better than this. So. For now, I'm sure you saw the sign coming in, and I realized by the thumbnail it's gonna be pretty hard to like play off that this is some big secret. I'm sure you guys already know what it is, but uh, I'm waiting on paperwork to get printed out right now. Um, but I just wanna take this opportunity to say thank you to Legacy Ford. Um, they are one of the few dealerships here in Houston that didn't get flooded by the hurricane. So if you're looking for a car um, or a truck, or if you're not even in Houston, you wanna ship something, they have a huge selection of Raptors and all kinds of stuff, um, like four or five GT350s, and just a really good dealership. You guys know I don't really push anything on my channel. I'm, pretty shitty at taking uh, sponsorships, but I'll tell you guys, this dealership is actually one of the best ones I've ever dealt with as far as customer service and everything else. So the first link in the description box below will bring you to Legacy Ford's website. Um, and then also I'll put up my salesman, Aaron, I'll put his info on the screen right now. Um, great guy, really cool, kind of down to earth. Honestly, reminds me of myself a little bit. So I read the comments on my video and a couple of you guys are already right. You got it. Cause I guess in Christian's video, I said something about it, but without further ado, uh, this is the, the new ride. I'm going to go into it in detail and everything later on. I still have some paperwork to do, but I'm just going to show you guys a sneak peek real quick. So it's 2018, the new color for 2018 called Leadfoot Gray. Um, honestly, I, I wanted black and I saw this color and I was like, I have to have this thing. Um, the interior has this like orange accent. Actually, I have the key on me. So the interior is all black, uh, carbon fiber accents, and then this like orange accent thing going on. Um, it, it's funny, it really reminds me of the uh, 675 LT. Same like chicane gray kind of color with the orange. It's, it's very, very similar. So I'll, I'll go into it more later, but you ready? Paperwork? One hour later. All right, all the paperwork's done. I'm getting ready to walk out, um, but I'm, I'm being a little picky here. I'm, I need to get that off as soon as possible. <laughs> all good. All right, I'll get out of here. Right on, man. Appreciate it. Have a good weekend. If you don't mind, shoot me a text when it's up. I want to take it out. Yeah, yeah, for sure.
So I've not been able to do that in a long time. Just put my camera uh, somewhere and let it sit while I drive. So finished all the paperwork up, got the front plate taken off. Uh, when we get to the house, I'm going to show you guys what I had planned for this thing because now I'm in a car that I don't have to keep stock. I can, I can have some fun with this Raptor and uh, really make it mine, and that's what I plan on doing. Also, I realized I was supposed to give you tips on buying cars, and I gave you a tip on putting money down, but I didn't give you a tip on financing and stuff. So I financed this thing, I'll, I'll tell you guys. Um, I'm not big into leases just because I don't stay in cars long enough. Um, but my number one tip, don't buy a car brand new. Never buy brand new cars with the exception of cars that hold value very well. 2018 Raptor, GT3s, Ferrari, like TDF, stuff like that, that's acceptable, buy it new. Hell, if you can get it new at sticker, you should definitely do it. But the majority of cars do not buy new. As soon as you buy a car new and you're not leasing it, um, you're losing like 10 to 20% of the value of the car as soon as you drive off that lot. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna buy new, just be prepared to take a hell of a loss on that car. Second tip, I worked at a dealership for a year. You know, I sold cars for a while, so I kind of know the ins and outs of it. And that's why dealerships hate dealing with me. Um, Legacy was very open with me and they kind of just like told me exactly what's gonna happen and I'm cool with that. But a lot of times dealerships, um, they'll, they'll be assholes. You know, a lot of them will, they're not willing to work with you on price. They're not willing to work with you on your, your uh, trade-in value, anything like that. And they'll tell you, you know, we can't do anything, price is fixed, everything else. Trust me guys, they can always work with you. Always ask for stuff, you know? There's no need to just like look at the price and maybe you want 1500 off, but you're scared to ask. Like it's, it's a dealership, you deal with them. Another tip I have for you, dealerships make money on their financing rates. A lot of you guys, if you've ever applied for loans at car dealerships, you've probably gotten, um, let's just say you got a 4.0. Well, you probably actually got like a 3.2, 3.3, but a dealership can actually mark that percentage up and then they make a profit off of your loan based on that markup. Um, so a lot of times when a dealership tells you, hey, the best rate we got you is a 4.0, tell them, you know what, I have a separate bank somewhere else that already hit me at whatever rate you really want. Um, I'll, I'll take my business there. And when they hear that, that's how they're gonna lose out on some money there. So they're not gonna let that happen. So majority of the time, they'll actually, you know, you can call their bluff and they'll tell you that real rate that you actually got. Now, let me talk to you guys real quick about why the fuck am I driving a Raptor? Why did I get a truck? Uh, in this price range, I could have gotten another GTR, a Z06, uh, C63S, something I looked at. And to be completely honest with you guys, this was my favorite option out of all of those. I don't want another GTR, I already had two of them. The Z06, I just don't fit in. Um, I used to fit in the C6, I don't know why, but the C7 is way smaller on the inside. I just, I can't fit in that car. And the C63S, while it is badass, it's also the entry level Mercedes AMG. You know, I had an E63S, I just, I don't want the little the little Mercedes. And I'm also just, I'm, I'm six foot five. On some level, I enjoy being on a bigger car and there's really nothing bigger than, than the Raptor. So, um, I've been in tiny sports cars for like three years. And I'm ready for something a little different. Also, a lot of you guys don't know this about me, but I grew up riding motocross. 10 years of my life, I was riding dirt bikes on a daily basis. Um, and then, you know, as construction happens, anybody who's ever lived in the country knows that all of a sudden, you're, you know, your neighborhood starts getting developed and everything else. Next thing you know, you can't ride them. So you need a truck to get them to the track. And I, I haven't had a truck in a long time. So, and for those of you worried that, you know, I'm a car YouTuber and I don't have a car anymore. I was worried about this when I first thought about doing this. I'm like, well, a lot of my followers expect me in cars and I'm, I'm in a truck. It's a badass truck, but it's still a truck. After I thought about it for a while though, it's like, I only have a couple of videos about my own vehicles. You know, there's not like every video I'm like, oh, look at my GT3. Most of my channel is like going to car shows, reviewing others' cars, so that's not gonna change. If anything, this is just gonna give me access to go on some adventures, maybe travel some more and stuff like that. So the channel's not gonna change at all. It's gonna stay like this, regardless what I'm driving. I'll do a full review over this thing at some point, but right now, um, I'm gonna go into step three of buying a new car. And that is, once you buy it and everything's done, Go show your friends. That's like part of buying a new car is you, you know getting your friends input and everyone wants to see it and, and riding it and everything else. So I'm gonna take it by the house and uh, see what Christian and Max think of my new, I gotta come up with a name for this. If you have an idea for what I should call this thing, comment down below. It's the, the color's called Leadfoot, but it's pretty much, it's like identical to the chicane gray or nardo gray that Audi does. Um, and the inside's got this black and orange thing going on. It's like the 675 LT truck, but I don't want that to be the name of it. I need like a, a clever nickname for my truck. Right, I'm about to look for the first time. Same with YouTube. Damn, that's a big truck, man. Yeah. Wow, that's huge. Bro, the color's truck. sick, right? Wow. It's a big trunk. Can I put my bike in it? All right, so got the truck back to the house, got the stamp of approval from the friends. I just wanna show you guys like some of my like favorite features on the truck. So I'm gonna start at the front. Um, so the front of this truck is 
like the most, in my opinion, the most aggressive looking thing, especially in this color. So one of my big gripes with the Raptor is that the grill, uh, the bumpers, and these little fender flares are always like a different shade of gray than the rest of the truck. But with the lead foot gray, it all like mixes very, very well. Something I'm replacing, this whole bottom bumper area will be replaced with a metal one with a light bar in it. Uh, hopefully that happens maybe in like a month or two. I'm gonna leave it stock for a little while. Um, the wheels, I love the bead locks, but I hate that they're gray. So I'm actually gonna pull these off and uh, get them powder coated satin black to match, or I guess gloss black really. Yeah, gloss black to match the wheels. So that way it's just like one big black thing. And I'll probably get the, the lug nuts in black too. This sticker on the back, I know some of you guys are gonna love this, but I personally hate it. The dealership wasn't comfortable taking them off because I don't wanna scratch it. Um, but I will figure out a way to, to take these off because I just, I think it would look so much cleaner, just gray. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the Raptor thing. So first off, remote start is standard. And something I've never seen in a truck before is electronic tailgate. I did not even know this was a thing. It has like the step that comes out and all that. I don't need to show you guys that. I had a bed liner put in so I can store shit back here, put a bike back here, put whatever. Not to worry about it. Also, I have like lights back here. They I had a little switch and they pop on so at night I can see what I'm doing. Again, shit I'll probably never use, but it's cool. On the inside, like I showed you guys earlier, uh, it's got like the orange accents, which on the gray, it looks really badass in my opinion. Carbon fiber, I, it's just a gimmick in a truck like this, obviously. Like weight is not a concern in something that weighs this much. Paddles on a truck, totally useless. Probably never use them, but again, cool feature. Like full panoramic moonroof is by far my favorite uh, feature in this thing. I just love that it's so open in here. And then also these switches up here, you can wire up to whatever you want. I'm going to be wiring these up to a light bar and probably a winch. The other thing that I absolutely love about this thing so far is there are outlets everywhere. There's one in the front, there's one in the back, and I think there's one in the bed. Um, and it's just so easy to plug stuff in. Sometimes I don't have car chargers or USB cords for my cameras or you know GoPros or stuff like that. Being able to just plug in the charger that I need whenever I need it and just charge up whatever device I need makes it like the ultimate film car. And I plan on using it to do a lot of videos and stuff, uh, especially like as a film car, because I can get in the back with the Ronin, have someone drive and uh, film whatever whatever car I'm reviewing. So I'm excited about this, but you guys know me, so I can't just buy the minimum. I'm gonna buy the most badass truck I can find, and this is it. I don't have any need for like a dually platinum diesel truck. So the Raptor is, uh, that. this is like my ultimate truck if I was gonna buy one. And this color combo and just the way it all came together deal-wise, it worked out, so hopefully you guys like it. Um, I'm probably gonna wrap this video up here and uh, go bowling with the crew. Last night we went top golf, tonight we're going bowling. Tomorrow we're going paintballing, so maybe I'll film that, take a GoPro, and uh, try to shoot Christian in the face a couple times. Guess we'll see how that works out. So like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you think of the truck, and uh, catch you guys in the next one.